Number 26. A crass host pours the remnants of several bottles of wine into a jug after a party. He then inserts a cork with a 2 centimeter diameter into the bottle, placing it in direct contact with the wine. He is amazed when he pounds the cork into place and the bottom of the jug with a 14 centimeter diameter breaks away. I calculate the extra force exerted against the bottom if he pounded the cork with 120 newtons of force. All right. So uh, at the top here, they told us the diameter is two centimeters. What I did on the top here was I converted it into meters. And then since it was the diameter, I had to divide by two to find the radius. So that should be fairly straightforward. I did the same thing on the bottom, converted the 14 centimeters now into meters, just dividing it by 100 and then, or moving the decimal two places to the left and then dividing it by two to find the radius. I also drew in here this little force vector of 120 newtons acting on the cork pointing down. Now the key little trick part of this question is going to be this term extra force. Let's just pretend that that isn't there, okay? Or let's actually pretend that the term extra isn't there for right now. So it just says calculate the force, okay? That's exerted against the bottom. Now, if that's how the problem is phrased, then this is a simple Pascal's principle problem, okay? that states that the pressure that is experienced at the top of the bottle here, or whatever it is, a jug, whatever, um, will equal the pressure also at the bottom. Okay, this is resting on a surface, right? So if this top experiences a pressure, that pressure is basically uh, distributed in all directions, and then it finally is distributed against the whole bottom here, right on into the table, okay? So in other words, the pressure here will equal the pressure here, okay? That being the case, we can create a formula out of that, right? I mean, we could say that the pressure at the cork will equal the pressure at the bottom of the jug. And now since I know pressure is equal to force times area, I'm gonna substitute now in force of the cork over area of the cork will equal force of the force at the bottom of the uh, jug divided by the area of the bottom. Remember, we're asked to find just the force against the bottom. So I'm after this variable. Simply do a cross multiplication, right? All you gotta do is basically just take this thing out of the denominator and move it on up across, all right? Simple. So this is F sub B will equal A, A, B, all right? A sub B times F sub C all over A sub C. Now, why don't we just expand on the areas, okay? Uh, remember, the cork is uh, circular, right? The area, and so is the bottom of the bottle. So let's expand on those. So we have the force at the bottom of the jug uh, will equal the pi r squared at the bottom, right, of the bottle times the force um, on the cork divided by then pi r squared and the radius, we're talking about the cork here. Notice how the pi's cancel, leaving us now with f sub b will equal rb squared times fc all over rc squared. Now, here is our formula, right? All right, so now we can plug everything in, all right? I like to show the most simplified formula. I mean, we could probably com condense those two since they're both squared, but let's just leave it alone. Um, I like to show that because some professors actually just prefer to see the final equation, right? They don't even want the uh, numerical answer, so you gotta know how to solve these things. Actually, one of my students, the professor gives them extra credit for doing this. Um, nice guy, right, nice guy. So anyway, Let's plug in the numbers now, let's solve. So we have the uh, the radius of the bottom, right? Here's the radius, we gotta square it, so 0 0.14 all over two, that's squared times the force on the cork, which was 120 newtons, all divided by then the radius of the cork itself, so that's two centimeters, which we converted into meters, divided by two, because that was the diameter, square that bad boy. And now, let's plug it on into the calculator. So let's see, 0 0.14, oops, First, I have to turn it on. 0.14 divided by two, square that. And then take that and multiply it by 120. And then basically just take that and divide it now by 0 0.02 divided by two and square that. Square the denominator. So we get a value of this. We get a 5,880 newtons, right? Now, this would be the answer if, remember the problem just said calculate the force. But it didn't say calculate the force. What did it say? It said, calculate the extra force. So what they're basically asking for is, and, and, and understanding the nature of, of the calculations here, the force here, the total amount of force 
contains within it the 120 newtons of force that was pointing down. Okay? Now, that being said, this is the total on the bottom, including the 120 newtons that was distributed to the cork as well. So to find the extra force, meaning the force on top of the 120 newtons, right, the force that was quote-unquote added, we would then take the total 500, excuse me, 5,880 and subtract out the 120, okay? So when we do that, what do we get? We get a value of now 5,760 newtons, right? You can put that into scientific if you like. I'm going to leave it there. So guys, I really do hope this helped. Please remember to subscribe, help us out, hit the like button, and uh, we'll see you in the next video. All right, take care.